Another episode, episode of Numb. Numb. New understandings and mental breakthroughs. That's what we do in this. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're late. Yes, uh, we we, we uh, we're just a little bit late tonight, just getting things together. So yes, yes. Um, Nineteen Keys and Billy were on, so yes. they went a little bit up close to our time, but that's cool because they were promoting their event that they're about to do, which is about to be fire. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Yes, yes. But it's our time now. That's right. And tonight we are talking about hormones. Yes, and how they basically take part in everything that you, every yes. aspect of your life. Exactly. Um, hormones really control a whole lot. So we everything. We and I like this. So it. there was a comment. There was a comment before we um, we started in the live chat, and the lady was like, um, "It's the title should be hormones or lack thereof." Right. Well, yes. yeah, yeah, true indeed. Lack mm-hmm. thereof, or sometimes overproduction. Right. Because that's a thing too. Actually, yes, it is. So yes, it is. Yeah. So I can't wait to dive into this because honestly, I um I called you, I think it was last week. Last week. Last week, and I was like, listen, I need help. Because <laughs> she did start that way. <laughs> I did. I did. I was like, I need help because I'm batshit crazy. Yeah. Okay. I'm batshit crazy for 10 days out the month. And I don't like being batshit. And I'm not saying I I, I act upon these these thoughts right. or feelings or emotions because obviously like I'm I'm very conscious. Right, but it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. It's, iris- it's irritating. And it's you, like right. why are we are we are we glitched guys? Are we glitching? I hope we're Did not you guys glitching. see that? Yeah, I, I saw it. Did you guys yeah. see that too? Can you guys let us know in the chat if we're glitching a little yeah. bit? Because that, that's weird. <laughs> I gotta get a face. A little robotic. I don't like it. <laughs> Anywho, but it's hormones are off. No. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's hormones, right? Everything is messed up when your hormones are off. Jeez. Um, so yeah, so I was like, listen, I don't want to feel like this for a third of the month anymore because I literally have to, it takes so much energy and focus and concentration right. and control to not let it out on people like right. really just go crazy on right. everybody like it it <laughs> right and i can remember growing up how people used to say it's not some people said it's not a thing some people say it is a thing yeah um but it it is a real thing and so um really felt horrible for you going through that um and 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 i'm sure a lot of women go through it and i i just want to put a disclaimer out there I know that this might seem like it's a female dominated conversation, but men actually have the very same issues with low testosterone as well. Yes. And do. their emotional states. Right. So this is a two party. No, thing. it is. It definitely um, is. It definitely so, is. That's one of the biggest problems that they that we have these right. days. Sorry, I'm sitting like I, I look crazy today. <laughs> I don't care. I'm sorry. Okay. For people who see this video, I look a little crazy. You don't I don't look crazy. Care. You're fine. Okay. Well, okay. So so guys testosterone has been dropping in a significant way for the past 30 years. Yeah. Well, it's a natural thing. Um, and like in general, in general, yeah. Environmental has definitely made it worse and and products that we actually eat out of plastics and stuff actually make it actually worse. So at age 35, gentlemen, every single year you start to drop off about eight to 10% of your testosterone levels is more so if you're not a person that's active training and eating healthy. That's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. It's Eight a to lot. 10% a year. Yes, which is so that what? means that by the time you're 40, you 40, have- 45, that's where the midlife crisis, everything seems like it's oh. crashing down. They're depressed. They don't know who they are. And yeah. it's, it's really not, you know, that they're having an identity crisis. I mean, the small part of that does play into it, but a lot right. of it's hormonal. Right. And- um, Well, you know what? Hormones- control your mood yes 100 they control the way that you feel 100 so obviously something must happen around that age it's always around that age mm-hmm. and that time 
So that directly correlates right. And right so with more moms. Right so. now, education is starting to come out more and more about this. And you see a lot of HRT clinics popping up everywhere. And this is why, because it's extremely important um, just from a from a mental health perspective for mm-hmm. both men and women to start to balance these out. Yes. So that they're not committing suicide exactly. or going into deep depression. Exactly. So um, that's why I like that's yeah. why I called you. Right. Because it, listen, so I'm very conscious and in control of myself. I've done a lot of work to be able to be this way. If I wasn't, I would be out here going crazy, fighting and all type of crazy stuff. But I called you because I'm like, listen, I just can't everything like one day it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. And then the next day, everything gets under my skin. I want to kill everybody. And I'm like, I just hate everything and everybody. And I just want to kill everybody. Everybody, I was like, I really don't. I just don't want to have to control myself like this all the time. Right, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. I'm like, fix me. What it, do we gotta do? <laughs> so there's there's a lot of natural things on the market um, to take for women, um, e- or even in your dietary things like eating cruciferous vegetables, or you can take a supplement called DIM, which is made from cruciferous vegetables. Yeah, um, evening primrose oil, things like that, um, mm. definitely help you to uh, bring those hormones back into yes, balance. But right. um, we definitely need to start tracking um, the ins and outs of where the hormonal swings come and go yeah. for both men and women, because it, it will make you do some really It'll make you do crazy some crazy things. things. Yes. But here's the thing that I want to express about that. So, right. so for women that get very, very emotional about, um, about their, their, when they're on their cycle, right? Right. And things bother them and they don't usually bother them when they're not on their cycle. Right. I want women to know that whatever is bothering you on your cycle is something that you need to address. To address. Because right. because just because you only feel like that during your cycle time does not doesn't mean, mean it's not a real it's issue. It's not a real issue. Right. But right. it just your your hormones get more imbalanced. So you're more able to not express or feel like right. it's irritating you. Exactly. So still address it because what comes up during your cycle time, if you get really moody like me, right, is stuff that you have to address. Right. So it doesn't mean that it's only, it's the, only hormones the hormones right. that are causing There's you still to an feel issue. like there's still issues. But they get exacerbated because exactly. the hormonal response. Right. 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 Exactly. Um, we've got Judith Youngbird. Um, so she wants to know that she's super emotional, you know, how to fix being super emotional after a hysterectomy. I can definitely speak on this because I had a hysterectomy many, many years ago. Um, there's a couple ways you can look, you can go about it. You can get on hormone replacement therapy. Um, that's that. That's the choice that I just didn't want to go on. I didn't want to be attached to something permanently. Yeah. So I was still younger at that point. I wanted to try something else. So I went on Pregnolone and DHEA, which are natural supplements that you can get over the counter, mm-hmm. um, went to progesterone cream um, oh, yeah, to kind of, yes, right. just to kind of balance things out. Mm-hmm. But first I started with some blood work to kind of see where everything was yeah, first. And so that's important, super yes. important. If you haven't gotten blood work done, you have no idea where you're at with anything. Trying to make a fix mm-hmm. on your own is going to be difficult. Right. So get the blood work done. Yeah. Uh, you can go to a Quest lab. You don't even have to go to your primary care anymore. You can just go to Quest labs and get certain labs done. Now. Right, right, right. Yeah. Find out where your hormones are. Mm-hmm. And then you can start to pick some natural supplements to help balance you out from there. Right. Um. So I went on a consistent dose of them for maybe like, I want to say seven to eight years straight of just really mega dosing because, you know, now I have no ovaries, you know, no yeah, uterus, yeah. nothing. So, mm-hmm. um. Once I was able to get that balanced out, I would go and get blood work every three months to kind of see where I was. Yeah. And I ended up not needing to go on hormone replacement therapy. So gotcha. that's kind of what I did for myself. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's first off, let's start this off about like the important hormones that, that really affect you. Let's talk about testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, um, oxytocin. Let's start off with those four. Yeah. Yes. So testosterone, let's talk about that. What does that hormone do? What is it? When it's high, what does it do? When it's low, what does it do? So, because guys, you need to listen to this. Right. It's not for only ladies, Don Solo. We are talking to guys too because that's right. Everybody got hormone everybody issues. Has, these everyone days, has hormones. All right, it's impossible not to have <laughs> um, it with uh, these crazy uh, tox- toxins that are in our systems and just everything. Right. Thank you so much. So, Judith. for men, if your testosterone is high, that's actually a good thing, right? So that means that you're functioning. You're not having any erectile dysfunction. Um, your skin actually should look really good. You should feel pretty strong, even keeled on your mood. 
um, very happy go lucky. And then very, um, very sexual, right? Very sexual. Like you feel extremely, like, extremely, like yes. if your testosterone is very high, right. You should you feel slightly feel, aggressive. Yes. Yes, yeah, slightly, aggressive, slightly aggressive, and like you're like a predator almost. Yeah, like, yeah like, actually, right. That is their <laughs> that is their predatory yes, hormones. So is. they should feel that. Um, but it, on the flip side, if it gets low, then you're talking about the first thing that men typically notice when their testosterone is low is feeling kind of, you know, sad and blue for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. um, then they start to have skin issues. Um, and then weight, typically weight gain in their lower weight abdominals and, yeah. and their back areas where they start to get the weight gain for, for them. Right. When their testosterone is low. Is low. And gotcha. then, then erectile dysfunction starts to creep in from there. Yeah. And then you point. don't even really feel the need to be sexually active. Right. Well, now you're, you're, you're scared to pull the trigger, right? Because the trigger might not work. Right. So that okay. creates a whole different yeah. set of anxieties for the for the man that has nothing mm -hmm. to do with his hormones at that point. Now it's now his thinking about himself, right? Yeah. Like, okay, I, I can't function. Right. Um, so that's definitely signs. Or also for men developing like uh, breast tissue in your mm. chest area where it gets kind of soft and mushy mm -hmm. and it looks like man boobs, basically. That, that, was, but, that, that yeah. means that their estrogen is their high. Their estrogen is high and their testosterone higher than, higher than testosterone. Right. Yeah. So and if you give man over. boobs, that means you need to get right. your testosterone and your estrogen in check. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Because you can actually also develop breast cancer, believe it or not, because men have breast tissue right. in, their, in their chest. Yeah. Um, and if the estrogen just keeps rising and rising and it's not being addressed, yeah. So much more can, mm. can go on from there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's an interesting question. What is it? What if you've been celibate for so long that it hurts to even ejaculate? Really? Does that happen? Wow. Well, I've never heard of that. I'm definitely that not either. a sex therapist. Um, I want to look into that. But I'm going to look into that. I'm going to look into that. that. We'll have that answer next week. Yeah. Real. Yeah. We're, we're going to look. I, I will go to a couple of my doctor friends um, that our colleagues and ask about that. That's pretty interesting. I got our title for next week. What's that? All about orgasms. There we go. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. We got to right. find out. <laughs> We're going right, to talk to, about it. <laughs> who's having them, who's not? <laughs> yeah, for real. I love it. Yeah. Me, it's well, amazing. <laughs> some people might be dry too. <laughs> <laughs> this might bring up a whole list of problems. <laughs> He's but great. come, come. That's what we're here for. Come, come. come. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring some extra additional, some, some toys. <laughs> I don't think we need to bring the toys. We need to talk about it. <laughs> Toy. Okay, Maria, she getting too deep into it. I feel your well, mind you know, now. Some people need assistance out here. <laughs> Can I with you? Oh God. Back to the hormones. <laughs> Talk about toys, Maria. <laughs> I wasn't even going there. <laughs> yeah. we're, gonna, we're here for solutions. <laughs> this is a solutions based podcast. <laughs> You're not trying to set people up for failure. Hey, it's not happening, but let's figure out why. <laughs> Put this here, let's see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> Back to, back okay, to the hormones. Back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Real in. Real so, in. For, okay. for, for women, though. Um, wait, wait, no, let's talk about estrogen. So estrogen. Yes. So, in men, right? Okay, yes. Estrogen, that when it, when it goes high in men, men get emotional. Very emotional, actually. So emotional that it can um come out not only in like feeling like they want to cry, but also in anger because now... They're feeling so Moody. emotional. They're trying to reel that in because they don't like that. Men don't typically like to be right. emotional. Yes. And so, boom, yes. they they try to pack on some aggression on top of it because in their oh. mind, that's how they should really feel. And then they get real, like, almost feminine with their, their anger. Yes. And, like, they just nag. And, like, right. it's more, they just turn really feminine. When right. your estrogen is high, men, right. you, you turn feminine. Yes. Acting. Yes. 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 Okay. Jay Finesse, that's actually really good. Cardio is a lifesaver for men mm. um, that are suffering from some low testosterone. They definitely should be walking and it balances out hormone and energy levels in both men and Love women, yes. actually. Yes. That's a good one. Yes. yes. Exactly. So yeah, estrogen in, in men, um, definitely something to look out for though. And again, if you're an, a, a male or female over the age of 30 and you're not doing any blood work, you're mm -hmm. doing yourself a disservice. There is no way on God's green earth that you're going to figure out what's going on underneath the hood right. if you don't get this, this blood work done so you can yes. figure out where you're at. Gotcha. And then you can start to kind of 
you know, make decisions on if you want to get on a healthcare plan or do something homeopathic uh-huh. from there, um, which is definitely what you need to do 100%. So, okay. Okay. So estrogen and testosterone in women, let's, yes. let's touch on that. So yes. when a woman's testosterone is too high, then she can have a lot of acne, grow hair grow in hair. places yes. that aren't supposed to grow hair at. Right. Um, oversexual too. Very hypersexual. Hypersexual. That's yes. what the word is. Oversexual. Um. Okay. So. So. And then. Um. What else can it cause? Oh, big muscles. Right. You get like over. Over. Absolutely. So. That is something that I deal with, right? So a lot of people are always asking, like, well, she must be on some type of steroids. But, no. you know, once I came off of, you know, my had hysterectomy and I now have no estrogen. Right. My testosterone for a while took a pretty big spike. Right. There was nothing to kind of control it and bring so it So what down. happened? What were the symptoms? How did you feel when your testosterone was too high? Uh, v- unfortunately, not hypersexual. <laughs> That, that didn't happen. <laughs> Maybe still be married. Unfortunately. <laughs> but um, definitely an in a, a, a odd increase in strength. Yes. Um, very, uh, I don't want to say aggressive because I'm just not an aggressive person by mm-hmm. nature unless I'm forced to be. Okay. But definitely felt more dominant. Like um, when I'm, I've, I'm also a very confident person, not to toot my own horn, but mm-hmm. Um, when I walk into a room where most women might feel a little bit like I need to play it down, yeah. I'm more like a male in that. I'm yeah. kind of like, okay, I'm here. Let's, right. you know, let's yeah, get let's into do it. this. <laughs> um, yeah. But definitely notice a big change in my 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 physique yeah. with it, you know, holding and maintaining muscle a right. lot longer than women in my age group. Right. Gotcha. Okay. So okay. Um, I don't have that the same like aging skin that most have. Um, so wait, testosterone when it's high. You don't age as fast for women. No, that you 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 age, of course, but your 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 skin holds better. Collagen, your collagen lasts okay, better. So, your so, musculature holds better. So testosterone and estrogen and all this stuff is directly correlated with collagen within skin. Oh, call a lot of it. Yes. Wow. Because when it's super low, you get yeah. super dry skin, yeah. right? And once you get super dry skin, and the dermis is dry, uh-huh. um, no, I don't care what moisture you put it. On the outside, yeah, it, it's it's cracking on the inside. Gotcha. So you need got to de- layers, layers, right, right. 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 So you yeah. need to definitely boost the estrogen to match. And yeah. so, um, but I, I will say that it does. Um, having low estrogen also has its side effects as well. Yes, for you women. Know, for women. Yeah. For women. For right. women. That can okay. also be, you know, s- severe weight gain too. Mm. Um. Having low estrogen? Yeah, low okay, estrogen. Low, estrogen. For estrogen. women, we got a double we need, whammy. We need. Right, we need it. So we can get a double whammy. Look too low, too high. That's all both both weight gain. And I think, oh, okay. So yeah. so my moods, right? So let's let's correlate this with my moods. So do you think that my moods happen because of what? Why? You, because of yours, what's too high? Yours are on the upswing. But okay. unfortunately, what happens typically when we're going through our cycles, it's never just... Um, you know, even keel. Right. It's, it's always, it's, it's, it's always a, this. Yes. Yeah. It's a roller coaster. Always this. Okay. Um, and a lot of things go into the roller coaster of, mm-hmm. of the hormonal balance because also what you do, your activity, yes. all of this stuff plays into that. Right. 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 Um, so that's what creates the, I'm fine today. I'm sad today. I'm pissed off. Right. right. So it, that's what's happening. But typically the estrogen production is higher, right? Your body thinking is going to make a baby. So when I get extra moody, that means my estrogen is really high. It's through the roof. And then my testosterone is too low. It might not be too low. It might be in the range, but it's probably So where would my oxytocin and and progesterone be when I'm feeling irritated like that, when my estrogen is high? That's very interesting because sometimes in most, well, in most women, if you've noticed, your oxytocin will actually be a little higher because you sometimes want to have sexual contact mm-hmm. with someone mm-hmm. um, when you're on your cycle, right? Okay. And some people don't because they feel a little repulsed by that, but that has nothing to do with the oxytocin hormone. Right. Itself. Okay, wait. So let's rewind. So, okay, we went over estrogen and test- testosterone. Right. Let's go over oxytocin now. Right. What is oxytocin? I love oxytocin. This is like a an amazing, yeah. like... It's, love, it's, a, it's a love. It's, it's a love. It's, bra- love it's a brain hormone. It's, it's a super hormone. deep brain hormone that yeah. really regulates... Orgasm. When stare, orgasm when you stare in someone's eyes that like 
creates the oxytocin. Feeling that you yes, get. You yeah, know, those, yeah, those almost butterflies. Good, good chocolate candy yeah. <laughs> actually will stimulate your oxytocin. Yeah. Um, actually, Any touch, cuddling. Yeah, cuddling, yeah. Yes. That's when your oxytocin goes up. Goes uh, high. So. And interestingly enough, I know that we're going to save this for, for our next week. For next week, right. But if, if a woman's oxytocin is not high enough before she has sex, then she will not orgasm because right. your oxytocin needs to be high right your body orgasm. might not even get lubricated actually right and if your estrogen actually is very low if you're you're suffering from dryness that's another part of it right mm. low estrogen and not getting oh. you know moist that that's that's interesting a part of it. yeah interesting so, so guys this is see that, that yeah. this is for <laughs> right for guys. Is for guys yeah guys, because you guys need to understand <laughs> right you need to understand yes. what's maybe happening to with your, your significant other. Right. And right? why she may not be getting right. blood or may not be orgasm. Right. Because it might not be you. It's probably her body just not responding because the hormone balance is off. Right. Okay. Yeah. Especially exactly. if you've got a woman that's over age 40 uh -huh. and as she starts creeping up, okay. you know, it, it, it gets worse. So oxytocin in women is good. It's yes, good it's in a, a lot thing. of different ways and a right. lot of different ways. But guys, if guys have oxytocin goes up, that actually is not so good for them because it'll make them their testosterone dip a little bit. It makes bit. them just testosterone dip, but that's very rare for it to go super high in gotcha. males. Their okay. bodies regulate oxytocin. Yeah, because really it's vasopre well. basal, yeah. vasopressin. Pressin, right. Vaso vasopressin. 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 Right. Vasopressin. Right. Like, so I need it, that word. <laughs> their bodies regulate it pretty well. So they, yes. that's it's it's an anomaly typically if something like that is happening. Okay. Gotcha. Um, or their gotcha you know, because yeah. their love hormone is the vasopressin. Vaso right. Okay. Right. Okay. So. so guys, your love hormone is the vasopressin. Right. Women, your love hormone is oxytocin. oxytocin. Right. All right. Let's talk about progesterone. Progesterone is a weird one. Um, it regulates everything from metabolism to brain function. So if you've got brain fog mm. um, to bone density, progesterone is a, a it's 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 it's, it's heavy. It's yeah. heavy. It's up there right along with what people think is a vitamin. Vitamin D is actually a hormone that works in the body, but that's a whole science project that we'll save for later. Mm -hmm. But um. When progesterone levels are off and estrogen levels are low as well, you're talking about recipe for hot flashes, mm. um, sometimes dizziness, mm. like I said, poor bone density, things of that nature. Um, so you definitely, definitely need to be well aware of where your progesterone levels are. Mm -hmm. But typically that's for women age 40 and over mm -hmm. um, or even 45. Like if you're starting to get to that menopausal age where you have to really start digging into seeing where those numbers are, mm -hmm. it doesn't typically affect women in their, you know, 30s, 20s. So I don't think if any of you are in that age, you don't need to really. You know what? That. When I was trying to fix my hormones, I was experimenting with different stuff because that's like kind of like what biohackers do. Right. <laughs> and so I got some progesterone cream and I started using it and I'm like, do I feel any different? And I actually felt a little bit better. Sometimes you do, yeah. As you get, because you're, you know, you're, you're aging, so yeah. you know it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to use it. But okay. definitely, if you're forty and over, your progesterone's probably low. low. So yeah. you should getting starting to lower. So if you're forty and older as a woman, you should have some sort of progesterone stuff. I think if you, you get your blood test, I think you should go. You should always start with the blood work. Yeah, I think yeah. once you hit forty, there's just a list of blood works that people don't. I think we are too afraid to kind of find out and I'm not certain why we are because the faster you find out, the faster you can fix it. Right. right? So especially with, with estrogen being so correlated with having children and, and a healthy sexual lifestyle, uh -huh. um, I think we do ourselves a disservice when we don't go and check out these things. Gotcha. So start with the blood work first um, uh -huh. and see what that is. And yes, Florcia Turner, that would cause acne as well. If what? Um, if your progesterone is low? Yes, yes. So the whole body gets off. And that's where you start to see people build acne right through here in these areas. I thought that's testosterone. If your testosterone is too high. That's when you get it really underneath here on the neck, on the chest, in the back. Oh, okay. Um, it, Hormones in general will affect this area. This area, but, yeah, yeah, this area. So if you break out here, that mm -hmm. probably means that your hormones. Yeah, are off. they're definitely off. Yeah. yeah, this typically is always your your constant area of problem. Then you mm -hmm. want to go and get that checked out. Okay, so so us for men or women, what are some of the biggest things that are hormone disruptors that can really really mess us up? I know that that microplastics are microplastics, major. They're huge, but honestly, the the biggest one is dietary. 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 So tons of super high processed food because wow. to be quite honest, a lot of you have no idea what your foods are processed with. Um, let's just take something simple like bagged coffee. Um, if you're a coffee oh, yeah. drinker, um, I want you to know that 
when you go to a coffee warehouse where they put like, let's say a, a bag of Walmart coffee for heaven's sakes. Um, typically there's little pieces of floor scraps and fillers and stuff in the bag as well. Mold. It's Mold. Massive. Because they're and using coffee. They use old beans yes. because they're less expensive. And then, um, and then um, um, those things can throw your hormones off. Pesticides. Pe yes, pesticides yes. as well. So Bad. And they're a lot high a in lot coffee. High. So, yes. so make sure you guys are getting, if you're coffee drinkers, which I'm sure a lot of you are, just make sure you're getting that that good, high-quality yes. coffee that, that you know doesn't have any mold. Right. You know, it, it can be so toxic. And you drink that every single day. That's the thing. Like, if you're a person that drinks coffee yeah. one, two, three times a day, it's more important for you to just go ahead and buy expensive coffee. Yeah. The real stuff mm -hmm. because you're doing yourself a disservice. You're you're con that's a, that's one of one thing I call a constant. Yes. If it's something that's a constant for you, that's what you want to spend your money on to make yeah. sure that you're getting quality. Yeah. They said so yes, yes, FDA allows for insects and rodent right. particles, particles in certain foods. And certain foods. Yes, yes, fecal matter. So so yes. um peppercorns, peppercorns. Yeah, but black pepper. Yes. Yeah, you can. There's a lot in there. You can find a lot of rodent poop yeah. in, pepper in peppercorns. Corns. Yeah, so you should get high-end peppercorns. Yes. But those, all of those things, definitely throw hormones off. So it's it's dietary, really, is the first part. And okay. then we are plastic paper plate, plastic cup society. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. can't uh, do that. Straws and all of that stuff. So right. those so get away leach, from straws. Everything. Yeah, they all leach out est more estrogen. Actually, eleven billion. Mm -hmm. These microplastics get released into tea uh, from plastic, plastic tea, bags. tea bags. Yeah, that, be yes. careful. That's if a you're lot. a tea drinker, buy tea leaves and tea just leaves. make it in. The, it's the same process. Mm -hmm. You're just getting it in in a the, the leaves and you exactly. use a little tea strainer. Exactly. Yes. Because people think that they're so healthy by drinking coffee, or choosing right. having, choosing to drink tea. But right. really, you could be poisoning yourself. Poison your, and this well, is just awful that we even have to sit here and talk about it. I this. know. <laughs> like, are you serious? Right. I just thought about that. This yeah. is ridiculous. I'm even in the grocery store sometimes, and I'm like, this is absolutely It's almost repulsive because you're like, what can I eat? Annoying. Yeah. First of all, it takes me three times the amount of time it takes a normal person because I'm reading the labels. I'm like, I can't, can't eat that. And then it costs me five times the amount because right. I don't need none of that crazy stuff. Right. And if you eat organic and you eat... You know, you right. stay away from all the processed stuff. Right. It's going to cost you a pretty penny. I'm like, dang. Well, it's like you got to pick your poison, I think. Listen, you know, yes, you, you yeah, gotta, you, you do. Gotta, you do. We, we got to pick your poison. Because you're on right. the flip side is if you're a person that eats out quite a bit, yeah. you you're really yeah, it's not are good. in a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, yeah. they restaurants cut corners on so many different levels. Mm. It's You'd be lucky if your steak was even from last week. Right. It could be two weeks ago. So, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's scary. It is. And we eat out a lot. Yeah. So all of those things affect the hormones. But then the next biggest driver is environmental. Interaction, right? Well, oh. Environmental. Okay. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Second. yeah, that's um, true. That, that's You're second. actually breathing. And you know that they found mm -hmm. microplastics in people's lungs? Lung yeah. Tissue? You, yes. So at this point, we're breathing it. Yeah. There's no way around it at no. this point. Yeah. I mean, that's that's why you just you said pick your poison. Right. Choose mm -hmm. choose what you do, right? So right. I, I I like to get my nails done. Okay. Very, yeah. very toxic. <clears throat> very, very toxic. Yeah. But guess what? I'm not gonna be so rigid in my health world that I'm not right. allowing myself to live a life that I enjoy, yeah. right? So everyone gotta watch about that because yeah. I was literally in a place for about two years where I'm like, I'm not watching TV, I'm not getting my nails done, <laughs> I'm not doing my hair, I'm not doing anything. She was <laughs> looking a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> I was because I, I was so rigid. I'm like, and I and I found it to be very stressful. Right. Because right. now I'm like looking at every single label. I'm like, oh, I'm freaking out everywhere I go. Right. I can't breathe this air. It's not clean. Well, let it's me, like let me say this. There's also something. Thankfully, as humans, we we are very unique creatures. Mm -hmm. Um, we have the amazing ability for body adaptation, yeah. or we wouldn't still be here. Right. right? Yes. So thankfully, our bodies are able to yes. process and doesn't make it great, but mm -hmm. we're able to withstand it. Right. So, you know, you got to look at your life and pick out the things pick that are the poison. worst. Right. Exactly. For and me, I like false sugars every now and again. I I, I don't care if, if it says sugar free, I'm all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat it. <laughs> I mean, you have to you yeah. allow yourself to do the things that you enjoy because at the end of the day, you're hurting yourself more right. if you're stressed, if you're so stressed out trying to be so rigid right. within your meal and then you're your, driving your and, and now you're driving a different hormone mm. cortisol yes that is the that's the belly fat well, let's talk maker. about cortisol. cortisol is cortisol is a mofo Ooh. cortisol is a mofo okay 
Let's talk about it. It's the stress hormone, guys. Yes. It is the stress hormone. When your cortisol is high, you're in fight or flight. That's your right. Your body is ready to, to, to run from that tiger right. that's about to eat you. It, it's not it, here. it hooks <laughs> up with the adrenals. Yes. And your Ooh. body goes almost, well, actually, scientifically, it literally goes crazy. Mm -hmm. it, it flips out. It mm -hmm. holds a whole flip out. Mm -hmm. um, if you've had a stressful day, let's say some of you've had a stressful day, you don't, some people don't eat when they're stressed. Yeah. Um, and then they, for whatever reason, the next morning they weighed themselves mm -hmm. and they weigh 10 pounds more. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because it, you're like, well, I didn't even eat yesterday or for two days. I've been stressed out. What the hell? Your cortisol levels have skyrocketed and mm -hmm. it will definitely, definitely destruct your body on how you process food, how your insulin processes in the body. Yeah. It will make you hold water. Mm. Um, when we compete on stage in bodybuilding shows, mm -hmm. it's always best to not like try to not be stressed out the day of the show or nervous about getting on stage because your body will uh, instantaneously hold a film of water out of nowhere. And it's all from cortisol. Wow. So it's very, very quick in the yeah. body. It yeah. happens so fast. Um, if you eat a, a diet that's full of like a ton of like sugary things, mm. you're typically going to have a lot of high cortisol. Yeah. Right. And then it also wears on your adrenals and your yes. adrenals. If your adrenals are worn, I mean, you're, you don't, you don't have energy, right? You you're all you over the place. You don't have energy and you won't sleep well. Yes. So it's a double whammy. Yes. So, so it's recharge. like, and then you keep on, it's like a cycle of, of right. negativity that you can't get out of. Right. Because it feed, one feeds the other, exactly. which feeds the other, which feeds the other, which feeds right. the other. So now you're just in a stack of trouble. Right. Which yeah. now with cortisol going that in that same cycle you were talking about, yeah. it also raises your insulin levels. So now mm -hmm. your insulin spiked and insulin and estrogen, if it's high, they're not best friends. That's fat storage. Mm. Yeah. Insulin and estrogen, guys, yeah, fat storage. Not, 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 they're not friends. That's mm. why people do better that if, if they're overweight, they do better with low carbohydrate diets. Gotcha. Because gotcha. the estrogen and insulin levels, yeah. Gotcha. Especially with, so if you're a woman here that's suffering from PCOS, um, that's polycystic ovarian syndrome, if you are having a lot of stress in your life and then you're eating a lot of carbohydrates, you're already dealing with a higher estrogen level you probably should reduce your, I'm not saying come off of carbohydrates altogether, mm -hmm. um, but you should probably decrease your carbohydrate levels because it'll help you lose weight gotcha. if you're struggling yeah, okay. and okay. feel better. Okay. Four, four, four in here. What up though? Four, hey. four, four. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, okay. So that's a good question. What are some organic foods that people can eat or drink to help them along the way? Keep things balanced. So let's address a couple things about organic um, mm -hmm. before we get into what you should eat. Yeah. Organic just means that for, for most places, in most stores, you are just eating 2.67% less than in pesticides than the fruits and veggies over here or whatever said organic thing is. Moral of the story, grow your own food. Yeah, because, if F you can. because the <laughs> FDA is allowed yeah. to, to give ratios. Mm. So... Um, if you've ever gone to a farm or in, in a garden or wherever things are grown and looked at it, there's no organic section hanging out on the left, right? right. There, it's, all the crops are there in yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So what they do, excuse me, what they do is they stop the spray at a certain marker and then this is deemed organic because it's less, it meets that criteria. Soil travels. you got the mycelial network underneath the, Ex the, the exactly. soil. That's so, all right. connected. So it's all they connected. all share nutrients. Um, so same thing with grass-fed beef. If, yeah. you're, if your beef is just a grass-fed, four months before slaughter, it goes into the feed with all the rest of the regular cows Ugh. before it's slaughtered. So you're, you, you want, if you want true grass-fed, you get grass-fed, grass-ended, which is really, really expensive. But just wanted to throw that out there. So back to what you should eat, um, mm. eating vegetables and fruits that are of high quality, all of your berries. So you mm -hmm. can get your antioxidants. They're going to be blueberries amazing. are amazing. Blueberries, blueberries blackberries, blackberries, which is people don't typically yeah. like to eat blackberries, but they are phenomenal for you. And good for um, brain food. They're brain, yeah, brain food. food. If you guys got brain fog, right. those are two berries that you, yes, should, be you should be eating every day. Every day. Every day. Um, another great one that's also good with hormone balance, it's a fruit, it's not a veggie people, is avocados. Mm. Um, avocados are amazing for you. Yes. They help you feel full. Yes. Um, they also help They're burn great with, fat. with fat. They're now, with fat. let's mm. talk about how, okay, so if you eat, let's say, an avocado with, let's say, an egg, right. whereas, or if you eat 
a piece of bread with an egg? What's the difference in the mix of, of nutrients that you're getting? Doesn't it, it boost something and lower something else? So if you're having um, an egg and avocado, your protein is going to get used better throughout the body, better utilization. So it's a good so eat, eggs and yeah, it, You want to mix those two. That's a good mix. Yes. Now eggs and, and you know, we all like our avocado toast, yeah. you know, yeah. Cause we, cause we, you know, I love some avocado toast. Latte so. people, <laughs> liberal <laughs> latte, latte people. people. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have avocado toast. <laughs> but if you're having avocado toast, what that does, it's 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 okay to have. Um, it slows down the breakdown of the carbohydrate in the bread. Okay. So it it makes that more of an even stream of insulin release from the carbohydrates. Right. So your sugar down. won't psh, won't spike. Gotcha. Right. So it's always best if you're gonna have carbohydrates, put some type of a fat on it. Like a healthy fat. Though. Uh, right. Yeah. Healthy. Explain, fat. What are some yeah. other healthy fats? Um, avocado oil. Um, yeah. Extra virgin. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Extra mm -hmm. virgin um, olive oil. But let me get into the oils really quickly. Okay. Yes. Ooh, oil, Most oil oils in the bad. store are not what you think that they are. You really need to go and read the label. It's sad to say. So olive oils, if they have three sources on them, mm -hmm. it's not olive oil. So it's typically a little bit of olive oil and then sunflower oil or canola oil. And those are oil. horrible. Stay away right. from canola. Stay away from stay, sunflower. Right. And stay away from palm. Right. From palm. Yes. Ooh, and yeah. so, and also if they're in a light container where sunlight can come in, um, definitely a no go. Cause it's probably, been you know leached out at right. this point. Yeah, it's, no, I it's only rancid. buy things out of gra uh, glass, right. glass. Too. Yeah, glass. glass or dark. Right. Yes. Um, avocado oils, the same thing. Uh, make sure that they're one source. Um, mm -hmm. Typically, getting them from Italy is is going to be the best. Mm -hmm. um, in, in those, um, coconut oil is actually one of the tried and true. And it's pretty stable. I I really love coconut oil. I use it. My kids used to laugh all the time because they were like, so are you cooking with it, doing your hair with it, or lotioning? Because we are little, and are you using the same <laughs> jar? Because I swore I saw I you it. dip and do a little, I love it. <laughs> and then a spoon and do a little. <laughs> so I wasn't using the same yeah. one. Coconut oil was amazing. But they thought that I was, yeah. Oil Listen. pulling, it's so yes, good for you. everything. All so parts. honestly, I would probably, if, if you are okay with coconut, I would yeah. go to a coconut oil and an avocado oil because... People make this biggest mistake with extra virgin olive oil all the time. Yeah. They cook with it. Oh, man. It's not a high heat oil. Yeah. It's not meant to be. It's meant to be it drizzled. It turns into what? It turns it, into it, what? It's rancid. It turns into mud, yes. basically. But it and that will affect your hormones. hormones. Yes. Yes. So Don't cook with it. Don't cook with don't extra cook with virgin it. Use it in your salad. Oil. Yeah. You can use it's it your salad, in your salad for salad dressing. Yeah. It's meant to be drizzled on or at very, very low, low heat. Yes. Avocado, so avocado oil, oil. You can cook in high heat. Yes. Totally You fine. can broil Tastes with good. avocado oil. Tastes yeah. amazing. I, I drizzle over my asparagus. Right. Season it up. Oh, Another man, great good. oil yes. to use that's super expensive, though, is mac, uh, macadamia nut oil. Really? Oh yeah, it's amazing for you, but it's super expensive. Really? Yeah, it's, it's got some great. You? It's how? It's got some great MCTs in oh, there. Oh, yeah. MCTs. Yeah, really which you good. get MCTs in coconut oil. Yeah, so yeah, you, know. you do that too. So, right, yeah. right. So can you cook high heat on coconut? Yes, you can cook yes. high heat on coconut mm -hmm. for sure. You can. Yes. You can do everything with coconut. <laughs> Lube a chain on your bike. That's actually a true story for another day. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You use it for everything. I got a little bit of coconut oil. That's all I got. <laughs> That's great, bunny. Here's some coconut oil. <laughs> I'm hungry. Here's some coconut oil. Right. I gotta cleanse my body. Here's some Here's coconut, coconut oil. oil. <laughs> no, literally, if you want to cleanse your body, like take a take coconut a little oil. coconut yeah. oil. Woo! Clean you out. Actually, yeah, it's, it's, really it's, good. it's real. Don't don't overdo it though. Yeah, it can make you very sick. And if you you don't want to overeat it because it like anything else, it can make you fat. So if you're not putting out the energy from eating a fat, yeah. you will gain fat. Gotcha. Um, over, right. Like anything else. Sesame oil. How about sesame oil and grapeseed oil? Um, verdict is still in and out on those. Um, really, I love sesame. I oil. like sesame oil, but I Asian think that food. you know, yeah, on your Asian food. Um, so good. It tastes great. Really, I don't really know any personally myself. I haven't d dived down to find out any health so. benefits. Usually, of it. seed oils though are not good. They're not. They're, they're not, not typically good. good. So that's why I said the verdicts. You know, yeah. I think Ugh. here and there, if you're making a recipe that calls for it, mm -hmm. because it's not a widely used oil anyway. Right. right? right it's not right. like something you use every day. Yeah. Um. Some people do use grapeseed oil quite a bit though. Yeah. Um, I use a lot in salads. In salads. In yeah, salads. Salad Especially like things. I yeah. used to be in the restaurant business, so we use only use grapeseed oil. Yeah, because it makes for a much more smoother uh, yeah. consistency in the dressing. Right. Ooh, yeah, I was in the cooking industry. They always use olive creamy. oil. Yeah, yeah, the junk oil. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Ugh. 
interesting. It's, yeah, it looks good. good on paper to say that too. Tossed in extra virgin olive oil or cooked in. Yeah, and you're right. like, yeah, I, I'm looking at it like, okay, not ordering that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. so those are some of those. So oils. So what about what about what else? Like, what habits can you have in your life to really keep your hormones balanced? What habits relieve you have have? stress? First and number foremost, one. That's number one because once, number one. once your cortisol is through the roof. It, Everything is off. That yeah, Everything that, that hormone body really off. does connect to other hormones and makes them out of whack yes. even more. So yes. cortisol is is a big body regulator. Yes. Um, yes, we talk about trauma yes. a lot on this podcast. Right. I talk about trauma a lot on every everything. <laughs> It's like you deal with your stuff. So right. your cortisol levels are not spiking. They're not exactly. high. Exactly. And then you can calm and bring it down. Because right. if you're up here and spiked all the time, everything is out of whack. You're not yes. going to feel good. Not right. ever. It will so make you not sleep for days if it goes too high. Right. Yeah. So really balance yourself. Balance yourself by dealing with yourself. Right. Shadow work. It right. works. It works. Absolutely. It will balance you. Right. That is the only reason that I can stay in control most of the time exactly when i'm having when these moves. moods right yes. you got to balance yourself yes. um someone pointed out magnesium magnesium actually oh, is amazing yeah. to have it's I take it great every day. Every like if day. you if you cannot sleep well you definitely should take some magnesium take magnesium at night um there's a great um product out there called calm there's some fluffers in there to make it taste good or you can get yeah. the unflavored that doesn't have fillers but we have um, um dr almond has a really 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 great his great that's right his magnesium is actually pretty it. good i have a link um, um so yeah definitely getting that into the system is a really going. good idea um yeah we'll add it to the description of this video you guys get the dr so almond supplements yep, so they're you can amazing check it out. yes um yeah. getting some getting it for ladies if you're dealing with your estrogen levels, getting on some DIM, D-I-I-M. You can look it up. It's, it's all natural. It's from broccoli. Um, definitely, because you can't eat enough broccoli to really gain the benefits. You can mm. add that to mm. your 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 dietary, but I mean, you, you'd be bloated. So <laughs> DIM controls the bad testosterone. Not the bad, bad no, but the that estrogen bad. Balances out estrogen. Oh, yes. but then, but, but, okay. So when I had got, cause I had this hormone replacement, right? Cause I found out that my, my testosterone was super low. Right. So I had these pellets put in. Right. And it, 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 I don't really, I didn't really feel too much different, you know, but it, I guess whatever, but they made me take dim because they said that, that because of the pellets, right. That it will turn testosterone into the not negative because I don't think it's, it's not a negative. What, what is it called? Um, Dim, dim, the dim, 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 but it won't, it won't, what it's doing. So when you're getting anything out of the body, what is this called? Exogenous. So you're getting exogenous testosterone through pellets. What happens is I don't care. I know that our bodies make testosterone and estrogen, but if you put an outside source into your body, your body says, oh, okay. That didn't come from where I usually make it. It shuts it off. Mm. When it shuts that mechanism off, gotcha. then the other mechanisms that normally run are a little confused because it doesn't really recognize what you put in as being normal it didn't come through the normal pathway. Okay. So sometimes when it they turns. give you the pellets, the estrogen will skyrocket a little bit uh -huh. because it's like that's it's trying to balance it's testosterone. But is it re is it really? It's not the same one that I'm used to. Okay. So it'll they try give to you, compensate. Yeah, it'll, it tries Your to compensate. Your body tries to right. compensate. Okay. So they give you the dim so it can stay at a base gotcha. down to a base more oh, base level. Okay. Yeah. It's but a science is, project. <laughs> right. It's a science project. Right, it is. Yeah. But what is what is the bad testosterone called? It's called DIM, right? No. Uh, DHT. DHT. DHT, yes. Yeah, that's what the DIM controls, well, right? In men mostly. Women okay. get some DHT too. Um, okay. If your DHT goes through the roof, your hair falls out. Mm. Um, that's what men who get on testosterone right. placement sometimes yes. they start... Yes, balding. We'll start balding. Um, right. That's actually a, a pretty big thing. But you can get supplements that block DHT right. as well. DIM does some of that, but you really need to get on something stronger that men. blocks DHT gotcha. if men are going through that. Okay. Um, if you're going to go and get hormone replacement therapy, guys, and you're noticing that um, your hair is starting to fall out, there's a couple things that you can do. You can take, uh, there's a prescription called finasteride, which is mm. specifically to stop hair loss. But if you're someone who wants to, maybe keep it a bit more natural. I know everyone's going to laugh, but actually it's a very tried and true on the market. You can get on Rogaine or uh, Karenique, which is minoxidil to help 
put in the areas as that you're helps. taking and it will help to keep naturally. the hair naturally regrowing. Right. And right. then you can also do red light therapy to stimulate your hair, hair follicles. follicles. Yep. You can do essential oils, rubbing those places. Right. We have um, a hair kit in our Forbidden Knowledge store that actually is specifically for men who are who are women who may be losing, losing a little bit of hair, hair to help mm -hmm. stimulate that growth. And we're actually coming out with a supplement that has... Um, what is it? Catalase. In it. Yes, in it. So that'll, that'll be good. Right. Which is good for hair. It's good for yeah. gray. 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 Gray hair. Gray. Yeah, gray. <laughs> yeah. So we're coming out with all these yeah. different little, little health hair products. Right. So, um, okay. Back to hormones. So yes. what other solutions do we have to really keep ourselves balanced that we haven't talked about yet? As Supplem far as hormones. Su supplementation. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, then it just... If you've tried some natural things in terms of keeping stress down, meditation, mm -hmm. um, exercise, exercise is phenomenal. Exercise. And it helps um, exercise stimulates your testosterone. And 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 balances estrogen. And right? balances. Yeah, okay, it's, so it's, it's good it's, in both ways. Right. If you're okay. if you're a woman who has like horrible cycles and you don't really feel like it, but it's probably the best time actually for you to go exercise. It'll actually regulate the body a bit really? better. Yeah, bring it down. Cramps. Even when you're cramping and stuff? It actually sometimes can bring down the cramps. It won't feel like that the first day because your body's like, what the hell are we doing here? Right, right. But if you can get into a consistent routine of doing that, then you'll be good to go. Okay. Um, evening primrose is an amazing supplement for women to take. It really helps with hot flashes and more balancing things out. Um, magnesium you know, vitamin D with K2. If you don't have K2 and you're, you're taking vitamin D, vitamin you're not D. absorbing any vitamin yeah. D. So um, you have to have K2. You have to have K2. Yeah. So buying it already blended together actually Good. is is best. Mm -hmm. um, I just see someone say black maca power, maca powder, sorry. I've never really, I've heard how well it, it works. I've never had any experiences with it personally. Hmm. Um, so it's something that I've been well, wanting I've to look heard into. That. Black, uh, black maca, maca powder? powder. Yeah, it's 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 been on the market for ages. What's actually. the difference between maca powder and black maca powder? You mean green and yeah? Um, I don't know. I don't know oh, about okay. it, really the that. makeup of either of those. I've never really looked into them. So look into um, definitely look into those because mm -hmm. I I keep seeing it quite a bit gotcha. um, going around. So. Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, supplementation, mm -hmm. relaxation. I um, take an adrenal supplement um, from Opti, mm -hmm. which is really good. It supports your adrenal health because I my adrenals were, were completely shot. So let's talk about that really quickly. Mm -hmm. With your adrenals being shot and you taking the supplementation, do you have you gone back to check where your adrenals are? No, but I did have a uh, muscle test on them mm -hmm. and they are way better than where they were. Like so he could, he could tell. Could tell right. right. So it, when you're taking, and I, this is really important, that's good to know. Like, so a lot of people do get into taking like adrenal supplements, which if your adrenals are, are shot, you should. That being said, at some point you do want to come off of them, right? Because if you, you want to see what your body can do on its, on its own. own. Right. So right. I feel like, so let me touch on something really quick about that. So supplements, do we need to take supplements all the time no every day no the same things I, you should switch it up right my, my, yeah my kids used to laugh they called me the worst junkie ever because i i'm not big on like plowing down a ton of pills mm -hmm. every day and yeah you know I'm, I'm, you don't even know what you're absorbing well you one if you're taking pills you're not absorbing a quite a lot right right? By, yeah. right so you be, should be taking liquid if you can get it mm -hmm. powder next pills last yeah that's the order it should go so liquid powder pills um but a lot of people are taking too many things that are kind of cross canceling things out. Right. So you should not take certain things at the same time. Yes, like vitamin C, C and, with right. magnesium. Magnesium, right. Say. Those those yeah, yeah, don't yeah. really they right. kind of cancel out. Mm -hmm. Um so coming on and off though is good. Mm -hmm. Um I think if if you don't have like serious health issues as well, mm -hmm. you should try to come down or come off of certain prescription medications, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, um, after having cancer, my thyroid got really, really burnt up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I had chemotherapy, you know, multiple times at this point. Right, so, right. um, had to go on thyroid medication, but I like to come off of the thyroid medication for 60 days and take an over the counter thyroid supplement. And I do that for 60 days. I get blood work to see how it's going mm -hmm. and it typically holds. If it holds well, I'll go another 30 days, mm -hmm. see where my blood work is at again. Gotcha. And then I'll get back on my prescription. Okay. So I, I ebb and flow. Right. So I'm on a thyroid and that's kind of what I did. Mm -hmm. So I have low thyroid. So right. I went on the actual prescription for it for a while. 
and then stop taking it. And then instead of taking that, I was taking CMOS. Right. You did CMOS of blood, right. So I was taking that every single day in the mornings and I, it, it went back to normal. Right. I forgot to take that and I stopped taking <laughs> it for a while and it dipped back down. So now I'm back on the thyroid, the thyroid medicine. medicine. Right. But I did get off of it because I wanted to see how I felt. Well, yeah. Again, like I mentioned. I want to take pills every, every single day. Right. Like I mentioned so I before, the body is super adaptive. Right. Mm -hmm. And so and we're, we're designed to actually heal all the time. Yes. Um, we're so yeah, intelligent. Are, are we, it's intelligent. So we, <laughs> yeah. we have a great regeneration system. Yeah. So uh, if you are on medications and you want to kind of come down off of them a little bit, again, only if you're not dealing with something super severe, like if mm -hmm. you're on a lot of insulin, I would not recommend this. Mm -hmm. um, but coming off of some of those things or coming lower on them and let your body kind of catch up mm -hmm. on its own and see what it's doing see if it can can catch up and progress on right. its own okay. right and then put 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 the foods in there mm -hmm. that you need to put in there gotcha. that are healthy and whole foods to support that system right okay so right. so let me ask you this so when i was with dr amen he's like the top psychiatrist in the whole world like this dude is is phenomenal 14 time best yes, selling, selling author yeah. new amazing. york times best selling author this dude is brilliant so yeah. i was talking to him and i'm like because he's telling, he's basically saying that you have to supplement every single day because we cannot get what we need from our food right now. You can't. It's not that that's, we can't get what we need from our food is factual. I think that what he meant though is like a multivitamin. Multivitamin, yes. Like you have to probably take like yes. a multivitamin. Yes. If I were day. anyone, I would take the best multivitamin on the market is going to be a prenatal. Really? Men and women. Yeah. Really? Because it's designed because you're producing a life. Right. So it has everything in there that it needs to produce a life. Oh wow! So I would so, get but, a but, high quality prenatal. But is it not a gummy. acid really high or something like? Is yes, it certain things certain, super certain, high certain with things prenatals? Are super high, so you'd need to know where you're at. But for the most part, most people can take a prenatal. Really? Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Oh. Most of my clients take prenatals, and they are they feel good. Feel great. 100%. Do they take anything else other than the prenatal, or they just um? So for my clients, I like to recommend um, they take a multivitamin, Magnesium. fish oil. Um, some take magnesium, especially if they're super, super active or yeah, have our soil sleeping. is stripped these days because of pesticides. pesticides right. So we need to supplement some of this some stuff. Of this We're stuff, not right. getting our minerals from the soil right. anymore. So yes. yes. Okay. Um, a multi-mineral in mm -hmm. liquid form. Mm -hmm. I always recommend. What about, um, liquid. fulvic? Fulvic acid? Fulvic human. Yeah. Oh, human. Um, I, I haven't told any of my clients to take it. I mean, no, I don't think listen, it's a bad thing, but I, I started taking that stuff and my energy, whew, Shot through the roof. It made me feel so good. Everyone's addicted to B12 right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah big, big. <laughs> First of all, let me address that really quickly. If you do B12 shots, there's nothing wrong with them. However, at some point, you need to go find out how much B12 is in your bloodstream because too much is not good. It right. can make you it's sick. Make you bad. It's really, really bad, sick. Right. right. So um, you, this is why you need some to. Some people absorb and hold on to more B12 than others. Yeah. Um, and it's typically mostly women of color that hold on to more B12. Mm -hmm. um, I know this firsthand because I was doing B12 back in the day and went and just had blood work done, not even thinking about, you know, b12 at yeah. all i'm not even looking for yeah. it and it was through the roof they were like how much b12 are you taking i'm like i haven't taken b12 in a while at this point and they were wow. like yeah let's yeah wow yeah, so. okay because i i have b12 shots yeah so um, be, be careful with those yeah yeah i have i have b12 shots but i was too scared to do it yeah. so like i haven't done it yet <laughs> yeah. um, but i think my energy levels feel fine. judith when i take omega-3s i smell really bad what else can i take are you taking omega threes that are something called enterocoded, or are you taking liquid? That would be my first um, question. You, wait, it, it makes you like like you so, smell like if you're not if you're, like if you're taking a, um, a fish oil that's not enterocoded, and what that means is when you swallow it, it goes into the lining of the stomach and then it starts to open. So mm -hmm. it's coated with a film so that your acids don't break it down oh, gotcha. in here in the okay. esophageal area. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's enterocoded, typically you won't smell. But mm -hmm. if you're doing a liquid version that you're drinking, it's definitely, I mean, it's its very great for bioavailability, but some people do the eat it out herbs. of their, their skin too oh. because it's a liquid form. So maybe go to the enterocoded pills. Um, so, okay, but the fishy burps, they come from not, not being having enough. No, they come from not being enterocoded. But then also not having enough of something else. I forgot what it was. Um, I was reading this 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 research paper oh, on I it. Yes. Heard of that. If you don't have enough of a certain something, then you will have the fishy burps because that means it's coming like 
your something in your stomach is causing and, it to. Well, typically what happens is you take a cheap pill, yeah. you know, it, yeah. it's already opening up as you swallowed it. So mm -hmm. maybe, well, your stomach acids are not absorbing any of it. It's literally just sitting right wherever it broke down at. Mm. Then you're, you know, you're going to no burp it up. No, right. Yeah. Right. So yeah, get something mm -hmm. enterocoded um, or you can get liquid form. Um, honestly, when it comes to taking any type of supplementation. I know some people are don't maybe not have the money, but I think that I, I do this. IV vitamin therapy is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, getting it through yeah. IV. That's the best, that's the best way. way. The best yeah. way. You absorb everything. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's all about bioavailability. Right. How much are you absorbing of what you're taking? Right. Because you could be taking a hundred pills and absorbing three of them. Right. Like, you know, exactly. So, yes, IV therapy is amazing. Yes. Algae DHA is also really clean. I see someone mention it, um, Michelle, but some people have an allergy to algae, and that is why it's not like mainstream and may highly used because mm -hmm. it creates in some people a, a reaction, right? Um, but if you can stomach it, by all means, use it for sure. Right. It's, it's amazing, yeah. Okay. So real quick, I'm going to show you guys a few things before we jump out of here. We'll probably touch back on some other solutions, but real quick, I do want to, um, I do want to show you guys these things, uh, real quick. <laughs> so, um, I am raffling off my bends, guys. Um, I am doing this because the car is too fast. <laughs> oh, actually, I just pulled up. <laughs> too crazy. Um, I pulled up in the driveway today, and um, my birthday is on Valentine's Day. So I pull up, and there's a Bentley sitting in the in the um, in the yeah, driveway. She got a great gift today. And um, they got me a Bentley. Mm -hmm. Anyways, my birthday, super exciting. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, I am raffling my olds. Um, not my olds, but my uh, Benz off, which is exciting because it's less, it has less than 13,000 miles on it. And I'm not going to be putting any more miles on it because I right. have a new Bentley. Right. <laughs> Yay, so exciting. So um, yeah, so it's gonna stay very, very low mileage. What I'm gonna do with it is I'm going to put it in storage. Right. So it does not get scratched, nothing happens to it. And it's in great condition like it is right now. Right. Um, it is super fast, red leather seats. It has the sporty wheel. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's so freaking fast, you guys. And it really, the sound system is amazing. You feel like you're inside it. Plus, I am donating a portion of the proceeds to my favorite nonprofit, Communities in Schools, Michigan. Communities in Schools is in multiple states at this point, but um, I'm donating it, donating it to the Michigan CIS because my mother sits on the board. I know exactly where the money goes. I can literally like right. know that it's actually it's going having to having impact, true yes, impact. Because I know yeah. the kids that they've helped. Right. I mean, I've been to every single event. I've been supporting this, this nonprofit for years. So a portion of the proceeds will go to underprivileged children in Michigan, which they need it because it's cold right now. Right. A lot of them don't even have coats to get to school. Okay. That's, like, yeah. It's which sad. is so sad. You know that this one story. So real quick, um, there were these two boys that were getting sick all the time and mm -hmm. not going to school because they were always sick. Come to find out one of the CIS, um, the CIS tutor actually went to their house to figure out why they right. weren't coming Through to school. school. Right. Um, and they found out that they didn't have a refrigerator, so they were eating rotten food. <sighs> they were getting food poisoning every single day. And that's why they weren't that's at school. So CIS provided them a brand yeah. new refrigerator. You know, they do right. things like this. Right. Like that, the nonprofit is deep, man. So, I mean, I have so much respect for it. And, um, yeah, it's it's really an amazing, right. um, an amazing nonprofit. So, anyways... I saw someone mention chlorophyll um, oh, yeah. for what anemia. You need to be very careful with chlorophyll. Um, really? And, yeah. Chlorophyll is good, but some people have adverse reactions to them severely. Skin rashes. Mm. Um, sometimes it's it's over the top for some people's systems to handle. Oh. Um, so if, if you're going to do it, do it in a small dose first and then kind of work your way up there. And also... Take notes when you're starting to take in any type of a new product or regimen of anything. Yeah. Take, start slow mm -hmm. and low is the rule. And then notate how you're feeling from week to week before gotcha. you go up. So maybe do two weeks at one dose, see how you're feeling, let it get into the system mm -hmm. and then bump it up again and then bump it up again and bump it up again. Gotcha. Um, That's interesting because I right. have chlorophyll pills that I was taking for a long time. Right. 
Um, um, liver, if you're dealing with your iron, I know it sounds disgusting, but oh, honestly, yeah, it's still it, one right? of the. Well, yeah. you know what you can do too. There's um, organ meats. Organ meats are amazing. So you for can you. get um, an ancient. I think it's called ancient nutrition or yes, something. Yes, they make an organ meat. They make an powder. organ meat yeah. um, pill that yeah. I, I I was taking that for. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing, amazing, yeah. really, really, really good, clean stuff. Yeah. Um, oops, I'm gonna post this one more time, the raffle um, for my Benz, and then also let's touch on um, let's touch Clean on grounding. Stress. Yeah, let's talk touch on grounding. So. So grounding, right? Um, wait, could I copy? Um, grounding is amazing for stress. For stress, which will keep the cortisol levels at keeps bay. It, so literally, literally, mm -hmm. like I tell women, it's grounding is free. I just dropped a link for our indoor products, which yeah. you know you can get them. And if you live in a cold state like Michigan, get you a bed mat, get you a, a work I, pad. I, I, I have the the mattress, the patch it, the, patches, patches, pillowcase, pillowcase. I sleep everything. with it every day. Listen, it's yeah. it's it will change your life. Anybody that has yeah. followed my direction and gotten grounding products or started grounding outside will literally message me and be like, right. it's changed my it's life. It's not expired. The raffle is still good. No, the raffle is yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the raffle is good. <laughs> it, it is on and popping. Um, okay, so grounding. For women especially. Well, actually for all I of us. Everyone. Everybody, right. everybody. Everybody. We are not connected to the earth. We are not getting the electrons that our bodies need right. to stay healthy. Right. Electrons will lower your cortisol because it balances everything out, right? Yep. It literally balances you all the way out. If you go outside, sit on the grass, sit put on your grass, bare feet right. and hands, and on, hands the on the grass for That's 30 right. minutes while you're angry, get up and see if you're angry. Your mood will change completely. Completely. Yeah. Because it lowers your cortisol. Right. It lowers your cortisol. So grounding is so very important. Yeah, it's, an impo it's important. It's 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 definitely an expense if you haven't put on your budget that you should do. Um, the patches really aren't that expensive. No, they're like eighty nine bucks. Yeah, so patches, and it's like a month know, supply. Month supply. Yeah, you can get away with kind of redoing the patch here and there. Yeah. No, I do. I wear patches yeah, until I mean, they can't yeah. wear patches no yeah. more. Until they get a little weak. <laughs> Sliding off it, and then no. I'm like, oh, oh, wait a minute. I know. Get back on there. <laughs> Wake up at the my face. I'm like, Listen, that's not belonging. They're there. so they're really amazing. Yeah. They heal your wounds. Yeah. They, everything, everything. You got right. your sheets. I see a lot of people in here got, yes. got grounding stuff. I mean, this will literally change your change life. Change your life. Yeah. So after long, so, I love it after long runs, oh, long rides. Yeah. I love the ground. Oh my God. And then yeah. after workouts too. Oh my God. Yeah. Listen, Amazing. it will change the soreness. You can literally, I mean, athletes do this a lot. Yeah, we, you. Yeah, I do. Because I do. Yeah. you work out uh, yeah. all the time. I, as soon as I finish a run, I, I go get my the grounding, get it on my knee, and mm -hmm. I just sit with that read or whatever. Yes. But, yeah. Yes, it literally regulates your system. Yeah. So, I didn't know about it until I met Liz. Really? I didn't. Oh, I knew about grounding, but, but out, not like outside grounding, not right, the right. products, right? Yeah, In my yeah. mind, I was like, oh, there's products. That now. was your Christmas I just, last yeah. year. I'm like, we're gonna I was just sitting outside. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, literally everybody, because yeah. not only will it help your mood, it will balance you, right. but it will literally change your health. It helps you with recovery. Yes. I recover a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. You can go super yeah. hard and then ground at night and not yep. have any type of soreness. The That's right. Day. Amazing. Amazing. Grounding for inflammation. Yes, it is impossible to be chronically inflamed when you're grounded. And I did show Gabe's spider bite. Let me see if yes. I can find it. Oh, so yeah. That's right. The spider bite. Super yeah, crazy. That was, that was cool. Listen. It is it. Oh, wait. Let's wait. Go back out. Remove. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I got to find this. Um, I'm going to find the slide. Because I showed his arm, my my son got bit by a spider at my mother's house. This isn't mine. This is Billy's. That's Billy's real. Yeah. Oh damn, that's <laughs> Billy's. Um, no. So my son got bit by a spider at my mother's house, and it was so bad and so swollen that he it was for like a week. Oh, like a week. And when he got home, I was like, "What is going on with your arm?" He's like, I oh, got that bit. Poison was still in there. Yes. He got bit by a spider. He's like, yeah. I'm like, does it hurt? He's like, yes. Does peeing in a bush count as grounding. Oh, man. <laughs> Top lobster, I don't think so. Uh, I think you're just peeing in a bush. <laughs> is this it? This is it. Okay. Look. So, look. So, I look at his arm and I'm like, wow, you look like you got a broken elbow. What is yeah. that? And so I was like, okay, I got, I got the remedy, right? I put a grounding patch directly on that big, huge bump that you see there. So wild. Eight hours later, I, I looked at it. That's it. The inflammation went down about almost 50%. 50%, right. 
And look at it, 18 yeah. hours. It's almost back to normal. A tiny bit of swelling. Yep. That's it. That was due to grounding. When he was swollen literally for a week. Yeah, but, but I know where where it theoretically should have gone down. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So yes. that's how powerful grounding is. Um organ meats. Yes. Post where 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 what is it called? What is that site? Ancient nutrition, right? Ancient nutrition is who has the uh, organ meats. Ancient nutrition. I get their, I get their um, yeah. colostrum too. Yeah, colostrum I is love good. Their colostrum. Ancient nutrition. Um, they sell some really quality products. Yeah, they do. Um, you're gonna pay for them. Key key fact on products. So if you turn around to the label and you see a, a supplement product that says nutrition facts, red flag. It should not say that. It should say supplement facts. Mm. Another thing is when you turn to the label, if they have like a laundry list of proprietary blend of the ingredients, mm. that means there's only pieces of the stuff in there. Gotcha. So try to get a supplement that has each ingredient that you really need labeled out and its amount because mm. you don't, you're, we're not in business here to get pieces of the stuff. We want all of it. Yes. So definitely um, go ahead and, and look for it like that. Right. Right. Yes. Well, this was amazing. This was awesome. Wait. This is a grounding sauna. Oh, oh, and the sauna. I thought he said there was oh, a gra yeah, sauna. grounding Ooh, sauna. I, I was like, there's a grounding sauna. sauna. Infrared <laughs> sauna. Infrared I love sauna, the sauna is amazing. Yes. Red shirt. I love it. Health. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for the sauna. Red, yes. Need to do it. it. Yes. Need to do it. We'll change your whole life. We'll get into some yes. different little bio. Little bio yeah, 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 for sure. And I think we had some mental breakthroughs. And we some, did. We did. Some stuff today. <laughs> We're definitely out to have a good one next week. Yes. Oh, yeah. We are all about the old guys. Yep. <laughs> no, we will. We're gonna. Have, I want to research some stuff about yeah. how that affects your body. Absolutely. What happens when you don't do it? What happens when you do do it? What right. happens? All of it. All of it. All of it. Yes. And and I I didn't forget the uh, erection. Yeah, yeah, ejaculation. Yeah. The ejaculation thing. Question. We'll have that answer next week. Look I, yeah, into me that. too. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, I'm interested to know now. Let's nerd out about it. I'm gonna nerd. We're, that's what we're, actually, we are nerds on the low. We are. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to nerd. I can't wait to get to my my laptop. Right? Start researching. <laughs> Did you see this? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> you heard about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man yes so this was good you guys yes. i hope that you guys got some um some good information and um that we helped you a little bit because hormones are so very important very important for everything yes, yes yes it's it's super super deep like like <laughs> yes. hormones literally control the way you feel the way you feel everything the yes. way you feel and then how you act if both of you 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 and your significant other are not understanding what's happening with each other hormonally mm -hmm. Recipe for disaster. Recipe in the for disaster. Right? Yes. So those are actually something that needs to be discussed as well. Yep. You know, it, it affects everything. Yeah. What's happening with our bodies is something we need to be discussing. Absolutely. And yeah. we need to know about our bodies. Yeah. I mean, we a are a lot we live more than here. we do. I know. Yeah. People are scared yeah. to know about their bodies. bodies. I know. Like, we live here. We live right. in these things. <laughs> this this is whole time. Your apartment. <laughs> it is. Bro, is, your apart life. is your apartment messy Forever. like Joe's apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have roaches rolling around in there? What's going on? <laughs> For real. <laughs> okay, I'm starving. Yes. So yeah, we're about to hop off here so I can eat yes. dinner because I forgot to eat lunch today. I'm so hungry right now. I'm and I've got to go to the gym. I'm to get so. hangry. <laughs> thank you guys okay, again for another week of spending time with us. We appreciate you so yes. much. I cannot express oh, how much man. we appreciate it. Yes. I actually won't be here on Monday. That's right. Birthday. I'll be in Bora Bora, be in Bora Bora celebrating my birthday. That's, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out something. No, we're going to pre-record it. Yeah. We're going to pre-record yeah, it. Pre -record and and it uh, we will definitely put it up at yes. our same time, 8 p.m. Mondays. Mondays. Yes. But we'll return live. Um, maybe we can even go live because I maybe we'll have good Wi-Fi. We can here. do a little Bora Bora action. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Since we won't be there, you know, we might as well live vicariously yeah. through this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go in my backyard by the beach. <laughs> hey, you got a backyard by the beach, though. I mean, <laughs> hey, not so bad. <laughs> All right. So, until next time, guys, yes. we'll still be back 8 p.m. That's Monday. right. Toodles. Toodles. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh.